Alrighty, welcome back to The Witcher 3. It's been a couple weeks since I last played, or maybe like a week and a half would be a better uh, description. <laughs> but it's been a while since I last played The Witcher 3. Since then, there has been a patch 1.8. I don't remember the details of what's been put in there, but I do know they released modding tools, like actual modding tools. So that'll be interesting. So far, what people have been able to do with The Witcher 3 has been more like script edits. You know, editing a few of the uh, files so that way you can adjust the numbers and have longer potion times or higher weight limits and stuff like that. So now we have mod tools. I haven't checked them out uh, to see how much they can do, but it'll be interesting. I mean, I've seen that at the very least you can do like texture changes. So they had like a rainbow colored roach. <laughs> so we'll see what happens and if there's any mods that I'll actually want to use uh, that aren't just tiny things. Hello. Move it. Help us fulfill the oaths we sworn. Give us strength and courage. Swift hands and sharp eyes lead us. Right, lads. Let's get to work. Clear out this mine. Maybe you guys should hold up. There might be trouble afoot. All right, so I'm a little bit on guard because uh, I crashed three times trying to start this recording session literally like five minutes ago. So... Yeah, not sure what's gonna end up happening. Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers and do them so. Okay, well, you know, I am a witcher. It's generally my job to kill monsters. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us? No chance. Glory <laughs> won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. <laughs> Not ye, nor that witch, Jennifer. Uh, yo. Don't bring Yen into this. All right. She hasn't done anything. I'm gonna help hey, you clear this place out. I like how they have candles on their chest. That's very genius. I wish I had a candle on my chest. Bridges. Not in real life. Just in terms of in the game. I'd love to have like a mounted <laughs> light source. Oh boy. Jesus, that's a lot of ghouls. Oh, I didn't even mean to have Igni equipped, but hey, whatever. Alright, this is a bad place. I'm gonna need to rub some oil on my sword. Do I already have necrophage on there? No, it's cursed. Uh, all right. Uh, oil, 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 oil. I wish they had a separate segment for oils and potions. It's really annoying to me that we have like food items in the same area. I know they kind of somewhat serve to the same purpose sometimes, but bleh. all right, necrophage, necrophage, necrophage. Here we go. All right. I'm pretty sure ghouls are necrophages. Let's do this. All right, they explode. Ugh. I should probably help these guys out. You know, my entire purpose here is to keep them alive. Dude, warrior number two is getting his shit kicked in. I don't even know which one he is. Ow. Ow. Wow. Mistakes were made right there. <laughs> okay. We're gonna devour a bit of raw meat as well. Just so we can get a lot of our health back in a short period of time. Maybe you guys should chill out. You don't have the ability to heal yourselves, so uh, that's kind of bad. All right, Quinn. I wish I could use Axie on these guys. Smell a card. What now? Whoops. <laughs> Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful, and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry. After glow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here. For you. Thanks. Farewell. Why is my face glow? Is it because of the candles? Those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. 
I like what I've got. Okay, ooh, a relic sword. I do like these. What do we got? Uh, 13% Igni intensity, 13% Urine sign intensity. That's kind of nice. It also looks cool. Nice. I wish they did more damage. Uh. All right, folks. Where you going? I'm leaving because my job here is done. I've got my money. And now I have other things to take care of. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything on this little place? Ah, okay, here's a notice board. We'll, we'll check out this notice board, then maybe see if there's anything going on here. I get worried when a place doesn't seem to have a name because it makes it seem like it might be like an abandoned site. You know, those places where you have to kill a bunch of things because everyone died there. It could be a contract for all I know. Actually, I guess it's a good thing I'm heading to this uh, little village then. So we're gonna be doing side missions for a while. I know people really like the voice that they don't like when that happens, but Ugly Baby, I've been informed, fails missions. I don't know if I said that already, but Ugly Baby, I've been informed, fails missions. And so I'd rather get as much as I can get done before it gets failed, right? <laughs> That'd just be a general good idea. So we're gonna try and do as much as possible. This is gonna be another long stretch of side missions and checking out everything that I possibly can because I would rather have the option to do it than to go headstrong into the story just because I can. That's just how I do. Did you insult me and then want help? No, I was the other person. All right. You don't get help, Skelliger. You do, Savannah. Can I have a word? I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? What are the horseshoes about? What's with the horseshoes? Those who wish to race in the hero's pursuits, hang them there. Oh boy. A series of races? Hmm. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits. Our races differ from those on the continent. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he's the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their mounts. Ooh! Explains the name. There an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. Okay, what's the reward? Winner get a reward of any kind? He covers himself in glory, basks in proof of his valor. Mm -hmm. Was hoping for something a little more tangible. To us, such things matter least. But yes, the winner receives something to remind him of his feet. At times it is a sword, at others a helmet or a shield. How about that? See, you can be practical if you want to. <laughs> You fucking sassy little shit. Uh, I'll race, I guess, but I kind of want to check out the board first. Don't lack courage. Time, though, that's another matter. Still might come back. Take care. I don't usually do that. I don't usually go, I'll be back later. Oh, gosh, another person who needs help. Everyone needs help. How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. Uh, that's not what you said. Don't pay to skimp on weapons. Right. Show me what you have. He has Gwent. He has Gwent. Color me intrigued. But first, I have to find a second person who plays Gwent. So it's not just like a random dude and that's it. Okay, well, I'll just sell stuff to you then. Uh, have a blunt sword, a pickaxe, and... We're keeping the elegant Skelliga shirt. One of the, uh, when, when 1.8 came out, <laughs> a few of my mods broke, and it was just such a trouble trying to get the, uh, Saddlebags mod to work again. The one that lets me have, like, 260 max weight. Oh, uh, gosh. <laughs> it was so worrying! Oh my god, these weigh a lot, holy shit. Alright, we're getting rid of this Master Crafted Saddle. And we already have two of these, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, goodbye to you. 
Just because I need things to be lowered. But yeah, oh my god. I, I couldn't play this game without it. <laughs> I can't. They're so ridiculously low in terms of the cap. Ooh, hello. Zirkanian Blinder, 64 uh, fear level. That might be really nice. Okay. I'll play you in cards later, buddy. So long. First, I have to check out the contract board. After I fix it. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong with me. If I start sneezing, it's just an entire sneezing fit. Alright, let's check out some stuff over here. Hello. Greetings. Looking to buy? I guess. Ooh, he's got coins. Show me your wares. I think I'm more looking to play, buddy. What is this red thing over here? Oh, not right. I was hoping maybe like some kind of quest item. So long. The finest of wines in the world. Yes. All right. So there might be a possibility for three Gwent the players. Yeah, I wouldn't want to try and fight against magical ice beings from another fucking world <laughs> without at least someone being a witcher. And, I mean, even then, I don't think I could handle like an entire group of the Wild Hunt. But we haven't really had a lot of chances to test that out. Impressive tavern. Tavern. This ain't no tavern. Tis the House of Warriors. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in, eye. But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. Maybe listen to a skull bay to the moon. Sounds like a tavern. About what folk do at a tavern. <laughs> <sighs> ah, you continentals don't understand a thing. You need some of our mead. Brood wisdom at us. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got then. What are you peddling? Let me have a look. That much? Just alcohol? I'm so disappointed that we keep running into shopkeepers or innkeepers without Gwent. I figured that was kind of like something I could expect. Every single innkeep would have Gwent. But no, that is not in fact what happens. Ugh. I'm so disappointed. Well, enjoy the saddlebags. I don't know what a innkeep could use it for, but hey, you do what you gotta. I might as well sell some of these other things. Would you like a skull? Apparently this skull is more special than this skull. This one's required to complete a quest. I don't know which one it's for. I wish it would tell you, but oh well. Uh, we're gonna release. I find it funny that these things are like, items needed to complete a quest can be sold. I'm not gonna even tempt it. Valuable fossil for three crowns. Ah, it's not that valuable, is it? <laughs> to be fair, maybe we're selling to the wrong person. Maybe there's someone who peddles in fossils and bones. We can sell human skulls to him as well. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Farewell. Three Gwent players, one area. Oh, yes. Dirty oaf. You're a dirty oaf. Especially because you don't play Gwent. Now, is there anyone else here doing whatever? You know, do you need help with a contract, maybe? A cursed wench. Well, fuck you, too. All right. Let's go look at that. <laughs> Let's go look at the notice board. I'm trying to run. But I guess I can't do that inside of this building, which is weird. There we go. Whoops. I didn't even read it. Uh, request from the druids. When you catch a shark, it is unbecoming to take only the fins and drop the rest into the sea. Such wastefulness is an insult to both the gods and nature. The body of every uh, killed creature, whether we weasel or whale, has to be used in its entirety, to the last bone and tendon. Yeah. Good on you, Ermian. Trying to stop them from that awful, awful shark finning business. And that's not sarcasm. I mean it. Don't fin sharks. Because it kills them. Uh, hark ye, good men. Come, Lamas, I'm setting out to the west with Greta and Finborn. The elders say there's nothing out there but sea, krakens, and serpents, but I'm a man who has to see for himself to believe. If you're up for an adventure, we still have a few oars free. Neat. Okay, and then there's three fucking things. Uh, ooh, this is the racing person that we are about to go talk to. Morkvarg. 
Hmm. We already did this one. That's funny. I could have accepted this as an actual contract. Wow. Let's see what happens if I do that. Hold on. Let's get our undiscovered locations. Because you know that happens. Bloop. It just gives me the paper because I already did it. Okay. Contract. Monster on the high road. I need a hero. A man favored by the gods. Or a witcher. Anyone, really, who's not afraid to stand up to the ghastly creature who's been attacking folk walking the main road to Larvik. A reward's been set aside. If you don't fear death and long for fame and ballads, come see the village elder. P.S. Severe, you stay home. You've done enough as it is. Okay. What level is this particular contract? Hmm, it's within a reasonable level. Okay. Level 16. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this person around here? Haha. -ha. I could race, or I could kill monsters. Oh, make quick work of the beast. oh look at that! It's the guy who was who had a quest for me over here. You, you're a watcher. I see and right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh? And they said, "Where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast." But I showed him. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the council of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Yeah, sure, but let's talk about the money. Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Heighten hands at the withers, or...? Hmm, by species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm-mm. <clears throat> we pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. So, how much? <laughs> that guy was like the most resistant. Holy shit, 520? Yeah, alright. So, I was informed that I should start high and then bring it down. So we're not gonna start at 697. We're gonna start at 640. Hm. That's what you'd ask for a golden dragon, maybe? No chance. Okay, alright. Now we bring it on down. 600. You know how to bargain, grant you that. Drop it a bit more, we'll have a deal. There you go, alright. I'll go for... 585. How about that? You know how to bark. Ugh, fine, alright. 575. Gods have taken all reason from you. You can take the offer or sod off. Okay, bye. So long. No monster slaying for you! I think, uh... I think I pissed him off. Alright, that's whatever. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first? That's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors. Where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphera? Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there, by that hut. I'm not even getting an extra reward for it. If this turns out to be like a really hardcore mission, I'm gonna be incredibly dissatisfied. But I think, uh, it's whatever. Again, I don't really actually need money, it just feels... <laughs> it feels good to be like, alright, pay me more! But I got 41,000. I'm not exactly, uh, uh begging for cash. Who oh, else this Witcher? He'll tell you monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road? 
than waiting in ambush. They're too plain dumb for that, damn it. Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? <laughs> Think Larvik's some kind of getaway for mutants, which you're stopping in every week? Well, I mean, I'm here, aren't I? Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened. Ask away. Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but... Cause I did? It was huge. It's maw all blood smeared. Bugger gutted Ungi with one claw, near spliced him in two. So it's definitely a monster, but it's an intelligent monster. Or someone is setting up a trap to try and lure in the monster. And so technically they're working together, but not really. I doubt it's that last one. Where it is, you were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here, along the road to Lofoten. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh. Blood spurted in me eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Huh, for what? For the information, so that way I can kill the things that hurt you. And also steal all the water from your village. I should meditate. <laughs> because His I'm kind of low on potions. Alright, we'll meditate for one hour. Everything gets filled up. Okay. And we're going to save because I'm just all super scared of everything. As much as this might be a jinx, the good news about the crashes I had was that I didn't like freeze my computer. The crashes I, I, I've been getting in this game would usually like completely freeze my computer and make me have to restart, which had a chance of like making me lose the footage. And if I didn't lose the footage, I had to go through some really annoying ways to get it back. Ugh. But we'll see what happens. Alright.